hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you on how to make chin chim at home guys this chin chim is very easy to make and this chin chim is just for beginners so guys in order not to waste your time let's get started first of all you have your all-purpose flour here yet to receive and you have your nutmeg you can choose to make use of the seed nutmeg then I have my two large eggs here I have my coconut flavor and my vanilla extract here I have my butter I'm just going to be making a very little quantity of that butter then here I have my baking powder and I have my milk flavor and I have my salt here I have my sieve and my bowl now I'm going to be pouring in my flour and I'm going to be adding in my nutmeg I just want to make sure I will sieve everything and I'm going to be adding in my milk that's my milk flavor my nutmeg the only thing I didn't see here guys was my sugar so now after saving it I added my sugar into it you can choose to use as much as you like but me i don't like much sugar so here i'm going to be adding my vanilla extract into my egg and i'm still going to be adding the coconut flavor into the egg here is my melted butter I melted just little quantity let me just say a spoon of that butter and I melted it so I'm going to be adding it into the egg then mix all together after mixing I poured it into my sieve flow so I mixed everything together so guys why I'm missing this please take your time to click the like button and if you're yet to subscribe please do not forget to subscribe turn on your post notification bell to get notified whenever i upload my new video so while mixing this make sure you mix it very well so after mixing it what i did was just to take a little quantity out from the flour and the egg mixture everything that i've mixed together and the reason why I'm doing that is in case of when I am mixing this one and I the water I introduce into it is much but right now I'm not going to be pouring much water I'm just going to be adding little quantity this method is very important guys just mix very little that little that you're mixing is just going to help you to test if your changing is soft enough so now here I have my rolling pin so now i'm going to be spreading it out that that little quantity that i mix together this little quantity is just to help you to test whether you're okay with the sugar the softness but if you feel that you're not okay with it then you can choose to add extra butter and just a little bit of baking powder I'm going to be pouring in my oil into the bigger frying pan because the chin chim I am frying is much so I don't want to make use of the small frying pan but guys you can choose to make use of the small frying pan so here what I did was just to put one of the chin chim to make sure that the oil is hot enough
so this process where i am frying it it's now up to you if you want your chinchim to be so brown white or milk versus brown color why me i was actually okay with this color so i actually stopped frying and i brought it out so here is my chin chin that's the testing part this part is the best i love that part where i'm testing it so right now this is the rest of the floor and i'm going to be introducing water guys please normal water not hot water not warm water now this is the floor that i separated from it i'm going to be pouring it back because i realized the water i poured was too much guys this is the essence of adding sorry this is the essence of removing some flour so when i poured it in i noticed that it was too thick i needed to start adding water into it bit by bit guys here you just have to be very careful but anyway in case of you over mix you just have to get a new flour you don't have to mix that flour just sieve it and sprinkle it um on the floor a little so guys this is how my chin chim is looking like now that's all mixed together so what i did was divide it into three places The reason why I'm dividing it into three places is because that is how that is what my power can carry anyway. And as you can see, it's not sticking, it's not sticking on my hand. So now I'm going to roll it out. Just take your time, spread it. To make chinchim is very easy. This chinchim did not even last up to four days in my house. I was wondering what happened to the chin chin <laughs> so I took my time to cut it I'm not perfect in fact you can't even be perfect let me not just lie so I just took my time slice is trying to make it to be in shape you can choose to cut this chin chin any shape you like but I just like that cube 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 thing I don't know why I just like it it makes it look beautiful and moreover i'm preparing for christmas so definitely when you're serving this for your visitors hmm. so guys i was done cutting the first set so what i did was to take it away from the board and put it into a plate so now it's time for me to fry okay now i know so many of you will be wondering why didn't i put one that's because the oil was hot already in fact let me just be honest i'm already used to frying chin chin that first part was just to show you guys that please in case of you are not 100 percent sure just put one of your chin chin so this part you just have to be careful when you're separating it do not you just have to be careful when you're separating it don't hit the spoon on the chin chin just take your time take it out shake it and it's good to go so guys if you've watched this extent thank you so much and um, please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn on your post notification bell do not forget to drop your comments in the comment section below and of course you're permitted to share so guys i'll just leave you to watch this video to the end and happy xmas